Today, we're going to go from this to this in no time at all with Micro Art Studios pre painted terrain. Stick around to find out more. Hey, it's Grover with Old Ones with Dice. This year, I was able to make it to Adepticon. I didn't have a lot of time. I was only there for the Thursday opening, but I wanted to really concentrate on the vendor hall. Take a look at vendors that I've never had the opportunity to meet. One of the companies that really stood out for me was Micro Art Studio. They're a fairly large company based out of Poland, but I'd never even heard of them. They are selling some really cool MDF terrain that's pre-painted. Thematically, you're looking at grimdark sci-fi, cyberpunk sci-fi, World War II uh, in 28 and in 15 millimeter scale. So that's going to cover a lot of your games. They also make some amazing looking resin bases. Now what I really caught my eye was the cyberpunk uh, pre-printed MDF terrain. I stopped at the booth and talked to Jan. Jan was really kind and actually gave me a couple of pieces to put together on the channel here. So I went with the stuff for what's it's the uh, Precinct Sigma. So you gotta get a look at what it's gonna look like. This stuff is pre-painted. Actually, I believe it's a material that's printed onto the MDF. So we got, this one's the, what is this? This is the post. Now this is intended primarily for Infinity, but it's gonna work for any sci-fi themed game. So we also picked up, this one is the cubicle. Man, that glare is terrible, but we have the cubicle. Now I'm working on some MDF terrain from some other companies. Now those are not pre-painted. The stuff I'm getting from Death Ray Designs, from Brutal Cities, amazing terrain, but I need to spend the time to bring it up to tabletop standard. From a crafting standpoint, it's very satisfying, but it is time consuming. I also, I wanted to take a look and see how long does it take to put these pieces together and how do they look on the tabletop? So let's sit down, let's see how long it takes for me to put these together and what they look like when we're done. We are looking at the Micro Art Studio Precinct Sigma, which is their, that line. Specifically, it is the cubicle that is pre-painted. Uh, we can see it's compatible with the other Precinct Sigma scenery pieces. And I believe this is the post, which is the other uh, terrain piece I have. Looks like these things are stackable. I'm not sure how many of these are in here. It shows two in the picture. I don't know if there's one or two. We'll find out once we pack it up. We can see that there are actually four sheets in here. So there's actually there's a chance maybe we do have two. And we'll find out. Oh, uh -oh. now we've got our kit and we want to see parts we're going to need. Uh, I got a bunch of these clamps. Pick these up at a local hardware store. Get a bunch of these for just a couple boxes. These are really handy. Big clamps. Uh, again, same place. Pick those up for like a buck. Uh, nippers, these are real important. Sometimes the delicate pieces, it's kind of hard to pop them out. Cutting them loose is helpful. If you have to trim anything, make sure you got a couple of knives. And for glue, I prefer just standard white glue. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to dry, but you do have working time. Sometimes getting pieces to fit together properly, you kind of got to slide them around. And uh, Elmer's glue gives you that working time as opposed to using uh, super glue. So, well, let's get into this. sheet oh we do have instructions nice I was worried I was gonna have to download these but it looks like we have the instructions Let's we have two one two and these two are oh I do like it as a nice matte material you can probably see it's not reflecting the light real well it's kind of a matte texture to it nice one, these two sheets. Where is 
know, it's got some graffiti on there. All right, well, let's, so we have one, two tops, and then one, two, oh, geez, they're already falling apart. It looks like we've got two separate ones. Eh, we'll find out once we start putting it together. So this one already came apart, which means that they come apart nice and easy. Sometimes this MDF, you know, it's literally, it's a laser cutter. It comes around and there's gonna be some point on here. Oh, I can't really see, it must be really fine. You can see here's kind of, must be the start of the cut. There's a little bit of a blemish there. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the instructions and dry fit some together. So here's these pieces that fell apart. So we're looking at one, so we have four sides. Steps and the top or set that aside. So I'm going to grab all this, all these side pieces. It looks like there's four side pieces for each one. Okay, so there we go. So that's how these are going to go together. So I want to try fit these together quick. Now, one thing I was looking at, the buildings are kind of a white color, but these edges are gonna be exposed. So, you don't have to do this, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna do some pre-painting on these. These edges are gonna be exposed. I'm gonna go through and pre-paint these. I'm gonna use, thinking, this is Pearl Krill Ivory. I did some test paints on just some, some MDF. Just this is like two coats. It's not perfect, but I think it'll help keep them from standing out. I'll do one of these pre-painted and the other one will check it out. But I think I'm gonna paint it up ahead of time. gone through these edges have been kind of touched up with either the blue gray or this ivory you know I'm not you know it matches pretty good it's close enough tabletop standard is where we're going with obviously a little paint on my hands uh, I also did the top prices that you know to kind of line it up a little bit kind of give me an example here right not perfect but it's at least something if you really wanted to go through and match those lines up Go ahead, but this is all about getting it done as quickly as possible.
We're just going to apply glue to all of the contact points. Now the moment of truth. This is where it helps to have four hands. And a few extra pieces in here. So we have this side panel. This, I've gone through, kind of painted up these edges a bit more. Our dry fitting. So we're going to have these steps are going to fit in here. So let's pull this off. And what we're going to start gluing. We're going to take a little bit of a brush, clean up. There we go. So now to step five. So we're going to look at this piece. Oh, okay, so that's going to go across the top. Now I suspect some of these pieces are not meant to be glued on permanently. I'm not quite sure. We're going to have to figure out how these work because they are stackable. So I'm, not, I'm curious how these stack up. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go ahead and build the second one. We'll see. I'm not going to glue these last two pieces on. We're just going to see how this all fits because I believe these are supposed to line up that you could either think you're supposed to be able to line them up sideways. All right, so let's go ahead and build the other one and we'll go from there. Okay, so now we have the finalized pieces that have been put together. Off camera, I built, I finished up both of these buildings. As you can see, steps, they're identical. Try to switch between the camera angles here so you can get a better view. They're large enough that it's hard to get them all on camera. But one of the things I'm really impressed by is the stackability. Right? So I could continuously stack these up over and over and create as tall a building as I wanted. But 
you have other options. These side panels that we looked at, these are not glued on and they do slide off. And you're gonna notice there are tabs and little notches there. These will line up with the tabs and notches on the other building. Switch this around. Yeah, so now we have some other options. I believe they will tab up this way also. And again, you can make different configurations. So let's set these aside for a second. We'll take a look. This is the the other major piece I got. This is the post, it's called. Um, now this one's also modular. As you're gonna note, these panels on the top also come off. So we can create other modularity. So first off, you can stack the units up. They are designed so you can stack up, create kind of a larger, so we, we can see they stack up, so you have a larger building. The thing I thought was a really neat configuration was going this way. Now I got a fairly large footprint building. It's hard to get that in the camera. And again, um, here's a 28 millimeter figure just to give you some scale. And again, I would probably just put these back on. So, lots of logical places on these miniature, on these for your miniatures to progress to heights, lots of natural cover, indents. Um, overall, really impressive. So, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments about how this stuff went together. Hopefully it seemed pretty easy. I'm incredibly impressed. All the laser cuts were extremely clean. In terms of after finishing, uh, turn of kind of painting up the edges. Originally I started to paint them up as before I built them, and I realized that was just kind of a mistake. And I realized it was just a lot easier to put it together and then just match that color. Because again, this is this is pre-painted, well painted touched up this piece here you can see it's darker that's where you're going to get see at the front painted kind of to match that tone and these are not painted uh, generally all i was using was apple barrel a few different colors of the apple barrel different shades of gray blue gray and then i did have this ivory though i probably just because i didn't have any apple barrel laying around in that ivory color. Probably need to get some. Uh, it took two coats to get a decent first coat, let it dry and done. Uh, that was definitely the most time consuming part of building this project. And honestly, your terrain would look just fine without it. I just wanted to take that little extra step and I'll probably go through and finish up the rest of these pieces that have not been touched up, but I wanted to show kind of a contrast to how that looks. You know, see if it's something you're interested in doing. So anyway, I hope this is informative and stick around for my conclusion. All right, we've look, taken a look at the finished product. Is this something that you think you might be able to incorporate into your sci-fi gaming tables? It's definitely for me. I'm definitely gonna buy more of this Sigma Precinct series. Um, here in the States, it's gonna be a little harder to find. Um, I can find it over on Noble Knight Games. I'll put a link to that below. Uh, they are available on eBay, and I probably will order some pieces directly from their store in Poland. If you're looking for a really good set of terrain that is looks good, durable, easy to put together, you can get on a tabletop really quick, this is definitely where you should be looking. So, Until next time, this has been Grover with Old Ones with Dice.